Tom Lynch back in the studio was just at a great workshop and putting away some of my brushes and I wanted to share with you the dilemma that I always hear. You know, someone says, boy, Tom, you know, every teacher I go to, they want me to try a new brush and, you know, why? And, and they don't always have a good answer. Well, I have a good answer. And what I've also been able to do is work with Silver Brush Company to put together, you know, a starter set or a sampler set. These are three brushes that I spent a lot of time, I mean, two years, modifying and I'm going to add this element and feature and so forth so I can tell you after 40 years of painting I mean this is an outstanding brush and I could have worked with any brush so I want to recommend for you you know this silver brush company and I'll tell you about these three brushes because one of them is a full flat not an ordinary flat but you're going to see when this is when this brush is made wet you know what a difference it has a bigger belly and it has a razor point edge that that chiseled edge to do some beautiful little corners and you know dragging down from the side because of the quality the red sable quality hair that's in there but a little extra hair. Compare this side by side with others. You're not gonna see a brush like this, so then I can do so much more with it. And that's what I'll show with you in a workshop or on other videos. But this particular set, you know, has this uh, size uh, 14 uh, full flat. Uh, along with it, it has a, a size four liner brush, and that's that extra length out. But because of the sable quality, it holds three times more than would be a synthetic. I can use the side. I can drag down, you know, for the uh, cracks in the red rock crossing tops and then raise it up and then just do a delicate little line, you know, for the branches. It's more than just putting wires and ropes, you know, on a, on a boat. The third brush in this uh, sampler or starter set, you might want to call it, is a designer round. This is 50% uh, uh, synthetic uh, along with... Um a blend of natural hair that is just outstanding and so we did the 50 50 uh, after experimenting with other proportions because I wanted to reduce the cost I don't use the round as much but now I will because this designer round has a slow gradual taper instead of a quick you know blunt to the point which doesn't last as long so you're gonna get a longer lasting you know with this particular designer round design so a great trio of brushes so if you're unsure you won't go wrong at trying out these particular three brushes they make a huge difference again the full flat a liner and a very unique you know designer round uh, that has 50% synthetic uh, and the other half is is a blend of natural hair so Join me in a workshop, bring your brushes, I'll show you how to make them dance. It makes so much a difference. I feel so bad, you know, when students have their clutch of brushes and ask me, what do you think? And I go, well, the news is not good. And here's a nice, easy way to get started with getting some quality brushes. And you may add it to other sets I've developed because these are not in that particular set. So. Join me in class. Let's have some fun. I get excited about painting, and I get excited about a good quality brush, and that's what I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.